Did you know that the amount of oats milled has more than doubled over the past 20 years? I'm Helen Plant, a market analyst for the AHDB. In this video, I'll look at this growth in oat demand, the current market situation, and what this means as you start to consider planting decisions for Harvest 2017. This season, 2015-16, uh, a record 225,000 tonnes of oats are expected to be milled by DEFRA, more than, more than double the amount milled 20 years ago. Consumption of oats and oat products is rising both in the UK and abroad, influenced by the health benefits associated with the grain and new product innovation. You can find out more about the health benefits associated with oats, as well as recipes on AHDB's All About Oats website. The amount of oats used as animal feed varies from season to season, influenced by the availability of oats and prices for feed oats relative to other grains, such as feed wheat, feed barley or maize. The growth in demand for oats is definitely a good news story, but it's important to keep in mind when looking at oats relative to other grains that the oat market is still much smaller than that for wheat or barley. This season, domestic usage of oats is estimated at close to 0.8 million tonnes in total, that's milling, feed and seed and other usage. In comparison, nearly 5.4 million tonnes of barley are expected to be consumed and 14.7 million tonnes of wheat. As a result, open market oat prices, uh, that sort of nearby delivery, follow the trends set by the wider grain markets. UK oat supply and demand influences whether these prices are at a premium to dis or discount to other grains in the UK, as well adding an extra element of variability. Given this variability, uh, growing on contract is often a popular choice with oats. So, moving now to look at the current market situation in a bit more detail. It's now the middle of May and we're coming to end, towards the end of the 2015-16 marketing season. While the UK is anticipated to carry out larger amounts of uh, wheat and barley than were bought into this season, the opposite is expected for oats. At the end of 2015-16, UK oat stocks are expected to be 11% down year on year at 94,000 tonnes according to DEFRA's latest February estimates. This is in part due to a smaller crop being harvested in 2015 at just under 800,000 tonnes, a drop of 21,000 tonnes year on year, but also the UK being a net exporter of oats for a second consecutive season. By the end of March, the UK had exported over 62,000 tonnes, compared to imports of around 28,000 tonnes. Further growth in milling demand, as we mentioned earlier, 225,000 tonnes, that's the latest forecast, is expected to be offset by a fall in usage as animal feed. It's also important to look at stocks in context of demand, particularly milling demand, as unlike animal feed, this demand cannot be met by any other grain. Shown on screen in the black dots, the current carry-out stocks forecast would be lower relative to milling demand than the headline figure suggests. It's also worth noting that while stocks relative to demand would be higher than the 2010-11 to 2012-13 period, the market was particularly tight in these seasons. With a reduced stocks cushion, the outlook for the UK oat market in 2016-17 will be heavily dependent on the 2016 crop. Back in November, uh, the early bird survey of planting intentions showed inten the intention to expand oat plantings for harvest 2016. However, a smaller winter oat area is indicated for the UK by survey data. Farmers in Scotland uh, sowed a 12% larger area to winter oats by the 1st of December um, compared to the previous year, but this only partially offsets the reduction indicated to have taken place in England by the AHDB Winter Planting Survey. As a result, this raises the question as to whether spring oat plantings and final yields can compensate. 
The next insight into the situation will be provided by the results of the AHDB Planting and Variety Survey in July. Results will be published on our markets webpage. So, coming together, if you're considering planting oats for harvest 2017, it's highly advisable to speak to your merchant, as market opportunities do vary by locality.